I started coming across accounts of people from the American South coming up to the townships for the summer and bringing with them their black servants. I became very interested in the lives and experiences of these servants and started uh, digging into the history of black inhabitants and visitors in the townships more broadly. And the more I dug, the more I started to uncover. My name is Sunita Nigam, and I'm a Shirk Postdoctoral Fellow at York in Theatre and Performance Studies. The focus of my postdoctoral project is um, housing crises and the different kinds of creative responses social actors are innovating in response to these crises, including squatting movements, small house movements, van life movements, or creating intentional communities. In particular, I'm really interested in thinking about houses not as static objects, but rather as sets of relationships that get performed um, by different social actors over time, and which have really important aesthetic, affective, and political dimensions. So one question that's really important to my project is how do houses get performed in the context of housing crises? One part of my work that I'm particularly excited about at the moment is a smaller project I'm carrying out on the history of Black inhabitants and touring performers in the Eastern Townships, Quebec. This research arises out of work that I was doing on the history of Americans summering in the Eastern Townships, this very rural region that's so close to the US-American border. And while I was doing research on this tradition of summering in the townships, I started coming across accounts of people from the American South coming up to the townships for the summer and bringing with them their black servants. And um, I became very interested in the lives and experiences of these servants and started uh, digging into the history of black inhabitants and visitors in the townships more broadly. I started to learn things about how Black life in the Eastern Townships has been marked by histories of agricultural and domestic slavery in the late 18th and early 19th century, by histories of Black-based minstrelsy performances in the early 20th century, and um, by a very lively jazz scene um, of touring uh, Black uh, jazz performers in the townships in the 1920s and then later in the 1950s. I was very interested to learn more about the history of uh, Haitian immigration in the Eastern Townships in the 60s and 70s, which really played a role in shaping the linguistic uh, identity of the Black community in, in the townships, um, from being very Anglophone to more Francophone. And the findings of this research will be presented in the form of a virtual exhibit that I'm, cu I'm currently in the process of curating for the Eastern Townships Resource Center. Uh, this exhibit promises to shed light on some of the ways in which Black people have shaped the Eastern Townships over time.